Alright guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're looking at Stefan Diggs. He's the wide receiver for the Bills. Um, but in this video he's playing for the Minnesota Vikings. I'm led to believe he's the star that caught that pass in the championship game to create what's now known as the Minneapolis miracle. That is really stretching my brain right now. So before before I take up too much of your time um, wondering about that, let's let's watch the video instead. Demon time! I love Diggs. His confidence is out the roof. Let's ride. He don't care. He's like, who who's the guy? Don't it doesn't matter. He's like Chad, basically. They are pressing me one on one with no help. Take advantage of it. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, to be honest, Chad Johnson. Ocho Cinco has become one of my favorite personalities in the game of football. I'm not even going to lie. I was talking about it yesterday on the live stream, and the funny thing is, is that I've never seen him play. I've never even seen one of his highlights. But I've, I've really gotten to know him and started to like him through his Instagram posts. Not only is he a fashion icon, basically, but he seems to have a fantastic attitude. And if it's not all ego-driven, which is what I thought at first, then I think I'd really like this guy. I'm always open. I'm always open. Amy, they just told him. Oh, give me a drink. You have to target Stefan Diggs in situations for that matter. Whatever you have to do, get him to make a play. What are some of the things that you like about that young fella this game. <laughs> okay, once again, first thing I see is, you know what? A turtleneck, a skivvy, as we like to call it here in New Zealand. Um, actually, I like that look, man. I really do. And if that was all black, right? He had the whole black, the whole thing was black, the whole top, and then he had a nice chain coming down. I mean, that would just be... Yeah, for sure. There's there's a lot. Uh, I'd say the biggest thing though is the explosiveness. That ball in the air. You know, he putting that head down. He's running. He's going to get it. Watch the speed from Stefan Diggs. He's fast. I can't remember exactly how fast, but you know, I think he might he might even be in the four twos. There was a play this year against Philly. He might even be in the four twos. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to check that. Stephon Marshawn Diggs is an American football wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. Became part of an effective receiving tandem alongside Adam Thielen, who we just heard speak then, earning a five-year contract extension in 2018 before being traded to Buffalo in 2020. So he got a five-year extension in 2018, but he got traded in 2020. Now, how does that work? He's six foot, 191 pounds, and quick, but not quite as quick as I thought. He ran the 40-yard dash in 4.46. Had a 35 inch vertical jump, 9 foot 7 on the broad jump, and 11 reps on the bench press. Now he went in round number 5. So I see this guy, I see Stefan Diggs, currently in his career, at pretty much the same position that Antonio Brown was at. In fact, yes, pretty much exactly the same. I looked at Antonio Brown's stats yesterday. He had 6 seasons in a row, over 1,250 yards, after his first 3 seasons, which were under par. But he was a rookie, so what do you expect? Look at this, 720, 903, 849, 1021, 1093, and then this year in only 14 games for Buffalo, he's got 1,314 yards. He's got five touchdowns, bringing his total touchdown to 35. Now there's not too many receivers out there, guys, that would one, get 1,000 yards in one season, let alone three, or two, score 35 receiving touchdowns. Or three, and I'm going to include this stat because really I've got nothing else to say, but in 2019, which is the season that we're looking at right now, he had a total of 63 receptions, which is down, but he made 1,093 yards at an average of 17.9 yards per reception. 17.9 yards per reception throughout the whole entire year. That seems absolutely incredible. Anyways, guys, let's get back to it. And Kurt Osher, and he's running full speed. That ball came all the way over here, and it was like nothing. Fucking oath it is. I mean, that's a tough catch. And he made it look easy, so I've never seen anybody track the ball the way he does. In this league, there's a lot of guys that have a niche. 
Oh my god, he had to go and get that. He had to go and grab that fucking ball. <laughs> and he needed to use every single ounce of speed that he had. Outstretched arms. He's only six foot tall. The arms aren't too long, but they were just long enough. What a fucking catch. I'm a speed guy or a possession guy, but I think honestly he's one of those over his shoulder too. Guys that, that can do it all. A speed guy, contested catches, a route runner. Great double move by Stephon Diggs to get some room to operate at the back of the end zone. Some receivers take a long time to get in out their breach for him. Okay. So what's he trying to do? He's trying to he knows the ball's coming on the inside, right? So he's just all he's trying to do is get that defender to bite or coming back on the inside. Great double move by Stephon. Bang! So the defender's bitten. The defender is flat footed now. Right. Completely flat footed. So basically digs at this point can go either way. Look at the defender. The defender is totally, totally committed to the left. So that's gonna be an easy route into the middle for digs. To operate at the back of the end zone. But I will be honest, man, that, that, that defender did fucking well. Some receivers take a long time to get in out their breaks. For him, this is smooth. He can run full speed at you and break on a dig at 15 yards without missing a step. I just gave him a quick off! And then just beat him. Beat him. <laughs> is that what you did? A quick ah, uh, a quick ah, uh, a quick ah, uh, and another ah. Uh. That's exactly what you did. I just gave him a quick off! Uh. Hands Come on! Where like 3x, 4x gloves? You don't really drop too many passes. Ah. Uh, I saw the biggest hands in history. Actually, no, they were. They were combined for the biggest hands ever measured at the NFL Combine. I can't exactly remember what his name was, but he was back in the list a wee bit. They were 11 inches, no, 11 and 3 quarter inches. Or maybe it was 11 and 5 sixths. So any hand size, I honestly think, above 10 inches is ridiculously huge. But any hand size above 11 inches, you're actually getting into record territory. So let's see what his hands measured. 10 inches on the dot, that's huge. That's fucking huge. Especially for a six foot guy. <laughs> that's a pretty incredible catch right there by Stephon This is one of the best catches I've seen this season. Detroit. Slay was covering him. Nice release. Unbelievable sideline catch. Ah, uh, yeah, we saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Out of bounds, and you know, he just cradled over there, got two feet in, and I remember on the sidelines just saying, that's ridiculous. Was that a reception hit by Diggs? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just nasty, man. Look at that smile. I stopped it before, man. This guy, <laughs> this guy must be on the top 100 list because, I mean, I mean, look at that smile. Look at it. It's a Colgate smile. It is, it is literally a movie star smile. But he's playing fullback. What a fucking waste. Seriously, I actually looked up his stats before. He does have one touchdown, I believe. But not a lot else. You know, the fullback is that position where underappreciated, I'm going to say. And that's just one of the things to explain him. Uh, you know, even somebody on a basketball court, like, that's just a nasty player. He's unguardable. He wears that on his sleeve that, hey, I'm competitive, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to tell you about it. He's a fifth round pick. He is the next AB, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Hey, bro! And I'm going to beat you again. I'm rolling that <laughs> Hey, hey, bro! And I'm going to beat you again. I'm rolling that Beat you, I'm going to tell you about it. Hey, bro! And I'm going to beat you again. I'm rolling that You got the video? Yeah. I'm going to get cast in the room, I don't know, I'm real. <laughs> 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 no, you're not, bro. But you might have the fastest game speed in the room. No season trades that step on Diggs to Buffalo. A different team. Yeah, that's some good game speed. But likely the same explosiveness. Same bravado. Oh, same look at that. Step on Diggs. Put him in a position to make a play. He gonna make a play. He gonna make a play. Thanks, Ocho. Uh, really appreciated that. Hopefully we see you a bit more on this list. But uh, guys, that was a look at Stefan Diggs. I, I'm, um, I'm a fan. I am a fan. You know, before watching that, I always thought, I think I was getting him confused with John Ross. I was. For the Cincinnati Bengals. For whatever reason, I thought they were the same player. And that's why I thought this guy had elite speed, but was down on stats. But as far as stats go, he's certainly not down. He's got he's got over 1,300 yards this year, guys. He's definitely going to be on the top 100 of next year. And in fact, I'm going to say right now that Stefan Diggs will make the top 30. 
But in the meantime, let's get on to the next video. Marcus Peters, he's a cornerback for the Ravens. And with that being said, yeah, yeah, I knew this would come out eventually. I suppose it's about time. It's about time. So we've got the cornerback from the Ravens, Marcus Peters. Who knows where Lamar Jackson will fall? I'd say, I'd say in the top five, but I'm not completely sure. You guys will know, but I don't, and that's the fun of it. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you've liked this one, please like it. If you want to subscribe, please do. Because after this series, I've got no idea what's coming next, but it's going to be fun. We've just got to finish it first. So I'll see you soon. Have a great night, and peace out.